Welcome to another YCN Game of the Week brought to you by LaValle Building Supply. We're here at the Whaler Gymnasium here at Toll School to watch the Newport Boys basketball team take on rival Stevens. And it's going to be an interesting game today as both teams head into the contest winless. Newport comes in at 0-3 while Stevens is 0-2 in um, a much different atmosphere than what these two schools have seen in previous years. Newport obviously lost um, two of its top players from a year ago in starting point guard Spencer Coronas as well as Andrew Hood to graduation. Uh, both playing at the collegiate level at this point. And Stevens as well lost a number of starting players from last year. So a couple players to watch from both teams. Stevens will be led by Parker Smith, a big scorer, has the ability to drive to the bucket and put up uh, shots from beyond the arc. And for Newport, expect big things from Jesse Stifler, number 24. Amazing quick feet, quick moves, and a guy who can score from virtually anywhere on the court. So I'm joined by Jeremy out as always here and Jeremy what are you expecting from this new kind of version of the rivalry between Newport and Stevens? It is going to be very interesting as you said Newport and Stevens both losing players Stevens losing seven seniors they have two returning starters Newport losing four of their five starters Stifler coming back to start he leads the team really he's the guy the offense goes through Stevens has a little bit more they're able to you know pass the ball around a little bit get more teamwork involved in this but it's going to be an interesting rivalry, not like the old old days. And Newport might struggle out of the gate here at their home gymnasium, but we'll see, you know, when you get on the court, anything can happen. And that's a good point. This is a, a rivalry that in recent years has been owned by Newport with the likes of Coronas and Hood running the show. But I'm kind of anticipating a little bit of a different story today, tonight, expecting Stevens to maybe have somewhat of a, a little bit of an advantage tonight. So it'll be a fun one to watch. So stay tuned after the break, break for our YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week, brought to you by LaValle Building Supply. Let's turn it over to the PA announcer for starting lineups, first with the Stevens Cardinals. And now let's check out the starting lineups for the home Newport Tigers. tip-off here at the Wheeler Gymnasium and Jeremy someone's getting their first win of the season tonight it's gonna be interesting to see what happens both these teams as we mentioned in the pregame struggling out of the gate one team struggling a little bit more than the other as Newport their last time out getting beat by Hopkinton uh, 23 point loss Stevens only lost by two so we'll see what they bring to the Wheeler Gymnasium tonight Absolutely, and somewhat of a, a skewed numbers there. I was at the Hopkinton game uh, covering it for our news program, and it's, Newport was without Jesse Stiffler during that game, so they were counting a lot on some of those younger players. So not sure how much we can base on that, as you see a nice block there by the Newport defense. And a foul and a bucket by number 10, Keith, excuse me, number 10, Anthony Stiffen for Stevens. Getting the basket to fall and one for a potential three-point play here. So not a bad start for Stevens as they drive to the bucket and get an early score. Good heads-up play after the block by Stifler. Grat crashing the boards, putting it back up. Stiffen, a senior for the Cardinals, can't convert the free throw as Ethan Hood brings up the ball. 
Ethan, of course, the younger brother of Andrew Hood, star player for Newport in years past, 1,000 point score, and a current player for Keene State College. Ty Richardson comes up with the steal, kicks it back. Can't get that shot to fall, and a rebound for Stevens. A little slow start here for the Tigers. Not able to convert on their first two possessions. Parker Smith a little long on that shot. And we've talked about it before, this rivalry between Newport and Stevens. It doesn't matter if one team is having a down year. It always has the potential to be a close game. So we may be seeing a little bit of nerves here in the early goings, knowing that, hey, this is a big rivalry game, the first of 2016, a rivalry renewed. Inbounds to Stifler. Stifler, some nice handles as we already see going against Parker Smith. Richardson with it now for Newport. Kicks it over. A little bit long on the shot was Noah Woods. Interesting story there. Noah Woods, his brother, excuse me, cousin, actually plays for Stevens in Nicholas and Zachary O'Brien. So, a little family rivalry going on tonight. And being close in proximity, always uh, friendly, both teams. They have a, a rivalry that is, is good and, and it's a healthy one. Friendly off the court. So a foul here on Newport. Stevens set to inbound the ball under their own basket. That's Zachary O'Brien, as we just mentioned. A little confusion on the baseline, looks like. O'Brien gets it in. Nice spin move by Stiffen. Can't get it to fall. But the offensive rebound and put back by O'Brien. And just like that, the Cardinals lead this one 4-0 in the early goings. Well, right now, Newport is limiting the good looks on the first look for the Cardinals, but not able to box out. And Stevens, all four points are second chance points so nice. far tonight. Nice move, excuse me, by Ethan Hood. Shows a little bit of that. A little shake and bake, gets himself an opening and gets the shot off. That's Newport's first field goal of the game. You're going to see that a lot for the Tigers, as we've seen already stiff with some of those good moves. As Stiffen puts one up there for the two. They're going to, they're going to take it off the dribble. They're not going to stand around. It's not going to be a ball screen offense. They are really going to take stuff off the dribble and create shots. Ty Richardson, a little step back three-pointer. O'Brien pulls down the rebound for Stevens. Just a reminder to stay tuned near the end of the telecast for the HR Clough Kearsarge Heating Oil turning up the heat player of the game. A lot of candidates for that as Noah Spaulding puts up the deep shot. But another offensive rebound for the Cardinals. I wonder if that's going to be a theme tonight. That was number three, Ethan Sweat getting the rebound and put back. So that's going to prompt an early timeout for Newport. And we're going to take the timeout too from our YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week, brought to you by LaValle Building Supply. I'm Mike Pizzone, joined as always by Jeremy Stout as Stifler makes a nice move, kicks it back to Hood. Hood can't get it to fall, and O'Brien with another big rebound for Stevens. So a lot of success on the boards for the Cardinals, both offensively and defensively tonight. And the Tigers are getting the looks that they want, I think. I don't think they're being forced into any bad shots. They're not getting deflected at the point of release. They're really getting the looks that they want, just not able to fall in the early going. And as you mentioned, Stevens having much more success crashing the boards as we see again there. I mean, that's just, that, that's a little poor execution by Newport. If you're the one putting up the three-pointer and you get your own rebound as Parker Smith just did and gets that put back to fall, that's something that the Newport uh, defense is gonna need to work on. You gotta get a body on somebody when that ball goes up. And, and really box out. Nice move by Stifler. Gets the contact against Smith, but can't get that to fall. And it's going to remain Newport ball. Might have been a little bit of a forced shot coming off the left side of the paint. Agreed. I think he was trying to draw the foul, didn't get the call, and was kind of lost at that point. Right, he was in no man's land pulling up. Nice pass by Hood. Ty Richardson can't get it to fall, but Noah Woods there to get the rebound and put back. That's another offensive rebound and put back for Woods. Good aggressive play there by Woods. And he doesn't take a second, he just pivots around, puts it right back up. And I think that's the key. So many times you see players take that dribble, try to get a little bit of a better angle, but when you get that offensive board, just to put it right back up, that's the way to do it, as Woods showed us there. Well, it appears right now the Newport interior defense has no answer for Stephen or Smith on the inside, especially on the boards as the last possession, Smith with the offensive rebound and another score. 
Nice pass by Smith, gets it under the basket to Sweet, and Ethan gets it to fall. So that's going to increase Stevens' lead to 14-4 to here in the early goings as a travel is called against Newport. Just a reminder to tune in every week for the River Valley and Kearsarge Chronicles for the who, what, and where shows of the region. They premiere at 7.30 p.m. Tuesday and Thursday right here on YCN, your local view. Seems like so far in the early going after Newport missed a couple good looks, now it seems like they're almost rushing their shot and trying to force the issue a couple empty possessions that really resulted in bad shots and bad uh, looks, just kind of forcing things. So even though they're down 10, don't look at the scoreboard, plenty of time, take your time, set your offense, and get a bucket here. And I think that's something, you know, we kind of touched on it in the opener as Stifler puts up the three, can't get it to fall. But it's a young, young Newport team. They lost a lot of seniors, as we talked about from last year. So aside from Jesse Stifler, you know, Stifler's really dealing with a lot of younger players, which, you know, may be a frustrating thing for someone of his caliber but obviously a little bit of growing pains as we're seeing to start things off tonight. Yeah, and last year, you know, surrounded by a lot of talent. Uh, the two you mentioned it, at the beginning, Hood and Coronas, but also uh, Pere was there, and he and he was a good, a good scorer as well. And now he's kind of not on his own, but he is the leader. Um, you know, I liken it in the NBA ranks, you know, when Rajon Rondo was with the Celtics and Garnett and Pierce, he looked like he was he was a can't-miss point guard, but he kind of goes on his own and he struggles a little bit. So taking time, taking their time to realize their new role, sometimes it takes a few games to figure that out. And I think that's a great analogy. I mean, sometimes players will make you look good. A Stifler behind the back gets that banked off the glass and in. Let's take a look at that replay. Looks like he's losing control as he's falling toward the basket, but gets it to fall and draws the foul. So an opportunity here for a three-point play from Jesse Stifler. Just a reminder that coverage of today's game is being provided in part by LaValle Building Supply. So a big thank you to them. As Stifler steps to the line with a chance to convert the three-point play and cut his team's deficit. These are points that you've got to have early in the game, any time in the game, really. That's why they call it the charity stripe. <laughs> and, of course, just like that, you jinxed them, but Newport gets the offensive rebound. That's Noah Woods once again, gets it to fall, cuts the deficit to 14-8 to eight here with two minutes to go in the first quarter. They had it in the plan all the time. We'll get the offensive rebound. We'll get two instead of one. That's the four-point play they had drawn up, right? Yes. A lot of Stevens players here on the perimeter. O'Brien hands it off to Parker Smith. Smith trying to create an opening, gets himself a look. Front rims it, but gets his own rebound. Can't get that to fall, and Woods comes up with it. Now bring brought up the court by Stifler. Woods tosses up the long shot, tries to get his own rebound, but picks up the foul. So while they head down to the other end of the court, we're going to take a quick break from our YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week, brought to you by LaValle Building Supply. I'm Mike Pizzone, joined by Jeremy Stout, and it's the Stevens Cardinals who are leading this one on the road, 14-8, looking for a big first win of the season. Part. See what Stevens can do. They see if they can set up their offense. They really haven't had too much. They've been a little bit of driving and then out, outside shooting. As you can see there, Smith not able to find anything. Coming up a little short on that. Ethan Hood, a nice pass down low. That shot will not fall for number 52, Brandon Sondarini. It's going to remain Newport ball. And we're inside one minute remaining here in the opening quarter. So we kind of talked about it in the intro, how in years past, or recent years anyway, Newport has really dominated this rivalry. Swept both games during the regular season last year. I believe swept both games two years ago as well. Uh, but already in the early goings here, Stevens looking like a better off team, at least for now. As Ethan Hood can't get that layup to fall, but he's fouled by Noah Spaulding, and he's going to head to the line for two. Well, Newport now at the free throw line, shooting two. Only down six points, 14 to eight, with inside a minute, 43 seconds to go here. After starting off a little sluggish, they've kind of, looks like they've kind of uh, weathered the storm. Let's see what they do here. 
And you talked about this being called the charity stripe for obvious reasons. And if he were able to convince both, convert both free throws, it would only be a four-point deficit. Unfortunately, Hood misses the first. Newport not looking to crash the boards on the offensive rebound. Two players retreating. Hood does get the second one to fall. Cuts the deficit to five inside 40 seconds to go here in the first quarter. And I think it looks like St Stevens is going to be satisfied probably getting the last shot of the quarter. Noah Spaulding utilizing the pick from Smith. Nice bounce pass down low to Sweet, but he can't handle the pass, and that's going to be Newport ball with 24 seconds left. A little hot on the bounce pass, a little close proximity. I don't know if he was ready for it or not, but either way, now Newport trying to set up for the possible final shot of the first quarter. So a fun matchup like we talked about earlier. Stifler against Smith here. Man-to-man -man defense, it looks like, for Stevens. And you said it inside 10 seconds to go. Gives it up to Hood. Hood following his own shot. An offensive rebound for Newport. And that's going to do it for the first quarter with the Stevens Cardinals leading the Newport Tigers 14 to 9. So stay tuned after the break for second quarter action from our YCN Game of the Week. 